Hey coders, how's it going? Chris here, and today we're going to talk about this library called SV Progress HUD. Now, if you've ever had to display some sort of loading or waiting indicator, you've probably used the UI Activity Indicator view that's built into the SDK. While that's fine, SV Progress HUD offers several customizable options for how the indicator looks, and it's also very easy to use. So there's a demo here that I clicked through, and here I can show you the different options that you can choose. So here's the basic one. You can show it with a status message. You can show it with a progress. You can show status like that. You can show success with a status, error with a status, and you can also choose light or dark styles. So that's the dark style. And then you can also choose the native style. So this looks like the UI activity indicator view. Also, you can choose some sort of backgrounds. So let's say I want black and I want this flat version. You can show it with a dimmed screen like that. Unfortunately, with the dimmed screen, I can't click this dismiss button anymore. So I'm going to have to reload it. But you kind of get the idea. There's a whole ton of options here. Uh, and here's the gradient one. So you can see that it goes from white to black in the corners. But again, I can't click the dismiss or any of these buttons anymore because of that dimmed view. So anyways, I hope you get the idea. Uh, SV Progress HUD is simple to use and offers a bunch of customizable options. In fact, if we look down in order to display it, you just call show and to and to hide it, you just call dismiss right here. So first of all, we're going to create our Xcode project demo here. I'm going to open up Xcode and I'm going to create a brand new single view application project. So there's single view application. I'm just going to call this the SV progress HUD demo. Let's just add a space there. Uh, make sure the language is Swift, device iPhone, the stuff after that doesn't really matter at this point. And I'm going to save this on my desktop. Okay, so now we're going to close the project because we're going to use CocoaPods to install uh, this library if we go up here. This is what we're going to need to add to our pod file. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about and you don't know what CocoaPods is, take a look at this video up here on the screen. Click it, it'll open in a new window, and that will show you how to set up and install CocoaPods so that you can work with all of these third party libraries. Okay, so moving on with our CocoaPods installation, I'm going to press Command Spacebar to open up Terminal, and I'm going to navigate to my project folder. So, typing PWD shows me my current path. CD desktop gets me into the desktop folder. LS lists what I have on my desktop. And there is the folder that I need. So I'm just going to type CD SV progress. I'm going to hit tab and it's going to complete that folder name for me. And notice that because there's a space in my folder name, this slash is used to escape that space. Okay, so now I'm in my project folder. All I have to do is write pod init and inside my project folder, it's going to create a pod file. Now I'm going to open that in my text editor, sublime text. You can use any text editor you want. And then let's look at the uh, installation instructions here. Now it doesn't tell us what we need to uncomment here, but from installing the other libraries, we know that we need to uncomment this platform line and this use frameworks because we're installing this for a Swift project. And then in between the target and the end tags right here, we're going to go ahead and copy this line here. So let's just paste it in there, save the file and go back to terminal. And then we're going to type pod install and it's going to read that pod file and it's going to install the SV progress HUD library. All right, there it goes. And now it's done. So we can go back to our project folder. And now we notice there's an XC workspace. So double click that. That's the file that you're going to be opening from this point on for your project. And immediately we're just going to press on our keyboard command B to build the project. And that's going to compile the SV progress HUD library. So now in the view controller, we can begin to use it. We can go import SV progress HUD like that. If we go back to the 
page, the usage page, you scroll down a little bit. Let's take a look at some of the methods really quickly. So you can call show, and these are all class methods. Notice that. So we wouldn't need to create an SV progress HUD object. We just need to call SV progress HUD dot show because it's a class method. You can also show with status and pass in a string. Right? We've seen that right here in this show with status, right? Just the doing stuff. Uh, and there's also a progress and progress status. So I guess here you can pass in a percentage of the progress that your task is done. And you can dismiss the HUD with this dismiss, or you can dismiss it with a certain delay after a number of seconds. Let's see, there's a whole bunch of other stuff. I'll leave it to you to explore. But what we're going to try to do in our project is just do this basic show and hide. So here, it's really as simple as SV progress HUD dot show like that. And if we wanted to show with a message, we would say show. Well, see here, the show error with status. There's a bunch of other ones show progress, show success, show with status. We can even pass in here and just say it's it's working. And we can run that. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything on the view here, and we should be expecting to see the progress indicator. Now, sometimes when you're putting things into view did load and it's not showing up as you expect it, it might be because even though the view has loaded, it hasn't appeared yet. And this progress HUD dot show method is putting something into the view. So if the view is not visible yet, like it has loaded, but it hasn't appeared on the view yet, it might not be able to show the progress indicator. So sometimes what I try is I override another method called view did appear. And when this method gets called, it means the view has actually been shown and presented to the user. So view did load happens first, the view has loaded, and then it gets presented and shown to the user, and then view did appear happens. So I'm just going to copy this line and move it into the view did appear method instead, and we're going to run it again. All right, and that seems to have been the trick. So there's the progress indicator with our status message. I'm not gonna go through all of the other options that it has because there's a whole bunch of things you can customize as we've seen in this demo right here. So you can customize you know, progress, status, error, success. You can customize the, you know, the background gradient and stuff like that. So there's usage instructions below here. All I wanted to do was introduce you to this library. One thing I will point out, however, is this notation right here. So what it recommends you to do is show it and then use dispatch async to create a new thread to do your time consuming task. Basically the thing that the user is waiting to complete, right? Do that in another thread. This line right here is going to create a new background thread to do the task because you don't want to do that task on the main thread or else it'll freeze the UI. So it's dispatching a new thread. You're going to do your time consuming task inside that. And then when that's done, you're not just going to dismiss the HUD from this background thread because you never want to modify the UI from a background thread. So you use this again to dispatch it back on the main thread to dismiss the HUD. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel and please share it with your coworkers and friends. It really helped me out. So thank you so much again, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye for now.